approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. That magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather... Unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. No you sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. carry me. You have a familiar twinkle in your touch. You're a wizard, aren't you? Would you consider yourself particularly well-read? The aid of someone learned would be of great use to me. My 
my apologies. Don't get your robes in a ruffle. You and I both know the aid a powerful sage could bring us. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Broken. Must have been here a while. them carved up Zora's whole squad. So let's leave it. And let the goblin. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move. Yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Observe and listen. Enough talk. You'll hear Get goblins before you see them. As you say. Which way to the nearest library? No, the town hole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. The party's full. You'll need to make room. Oh, I'll get little rest given a stack of unread books waiting for me. But I'll try. Well chosen. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, 
has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. I crave blood. Let's get going. Another step forward. up here what's this then trying to creep around us and loot the crypt not happening or is it the ship you're after don't matter either way it's ours all of it Well, uh, in that case... Come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! It would have been quicker to kill them. Time to rest. On my way. Open up. You strike me as the reliable sort, but are you sure this is a good idea? Outside threats, perhaps? Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. We'll need our strength. Very well. I have something to ask. Go to hell. You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. 
so trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Do you mind? I'm brooding. A monster forms inside us, yet you waste time with idle chatter. Better not be cursed. Keep your distance, darling. With pleasure. Don't stop me yet. <laughs> <laughs> 